Hello, seventh grade. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about color. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the whole process of beginning to end and showing you different types of media, uh, which is the tools that we use, like colored pencils, crayons, watercolor. Uh, but this is what we've been working on. Uh, this is all in pencil, our abstract uh, design. Here we can see that I used a marker and I went over my pencils and erased everything really nice and neat. I have lined, uh, thick lines, thin lines, double borders, anything that I feel that would be interesting. Uh, this would be a final uh, colored abstract design. This is what you should be turning into me. Um, now we're going to talk about color because uh, I have different ones uh, to show you and talk about. So I'm going to make you dizzy here for a second. All right, so I know that we watched a video before on color, but now we're going to do uh, our color scheme. So the first one I want you to know is monochromatic. Uh, monochromatic is tints and shades of one color. So we can see here this is purple and it keeps getting lighter and lighter. So as you add white to a color that is a tint. Anytime that you add black to a color you make a shade. So this is a shade of blue. Um, I also have an example of a monochromatic um, abstract design. And you can still see that I am not finished with this. But I have dark purple fading from dark purple to purple to a bluer type of purple. Um, I have tints of going dark purple to a lighter purple the whole way to white. Uh, now there's planning being involved here. I want to use the principle of art called uh, contrast. So I do have a light purple right beside a dark purple, right beside a medium purple. Uh, I, I plan that out on purpose. I'm looking to create contrast. So when I have this really white area uh, beside a dark area, I'm looking for contrast. And this whole abstract design is going to be one color scheme. This is only going to be a monochromatic. So these two go together, a monochromatic. The next thing I want to show you is complementary colors. Uh, complementary colors are colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So yellow and purple, uh, red and green, orange and blue. These are all complementary colors. And I do have an example of that as well with this. So here, I tried to find tools that you would be able to find at home. This is done with uh, crayons. Uh, so I went into my kids' play things and I found uh, crayons instead of colored pencils or watercolors. Uh, and I'm trying to be a aware of what you might have at home. So here, just with pencil pressure, I was able to push hard with an orange and then light to create a tint of orange on this one. Here I pushed as hard as I could. Uh, this is more like a reddish orange all throughout here. And then just the way that I was able to push with the crayon uh, very lightly here compared to uh, this blue here where I pushed really really hard. So this would be all complementary colors. Okay, the next one is probably new. When we, whenever we took that uh, pretest uh, on the elements of art, a lot of us got this one wrong. And that's fine because you were never taught this. Analogous color schemes are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. 
So I know this has three arrows, um, but it can be up to five, five different colors, three to five colors that are beside each other on the color wheel. So what I have here is an analogous color scheme where I have yellow green, uh, green, uh, blue green, and blue. So this would be an analogous color scheme. The last one that I want to talk about is analogous complementary. So now we are mixing the last two that we just talked about. So analogous complementary Memory is three to five adjacent colors. So here's one, two, three, four, five. But if I just want to do an abstract design with uh, yellow, orange, orange, and red, orange, that would be three. Okay, so analogous color scheme plus one color opposite. So that would be called an accent color. So if I were doing um, let's say this one here and I wanted to make this analogous complementary maybe these tubes or these circle type things would be red so um, we know that green and red are complementary colors so if I just sparingly made those circles a red one or maybe just one of these was red and I left these two blue that would be analogous complementary uh, I don't want it to be a 50 50 um, you know half analogous half blue I would maybe like a 90 uh, 10 percent or an 80 20 where it's just an accent okay I don't have an example of this uh, but this is uh, analogous complementary and we would pretend that one of these just one happened to be the color red that would be analogous complementary and that could be with any color scheme